hello students this is your english lesson in this lesson we are going to read unit number 18 here is a poem a passing glimpse from oxford reading circle 6 students this poem is written by robert lee frost a passing glimpse is a short lyric by the american poet robert frost The theme of the poem is beauty of nature. The title tells us the idea of time quickly passing by. In the work, the poet expresses his desire to go back in his life and looks closer to that flower once he saw when he quickly passed by. The flower is a symbol of na nature beauty and he feels that he did not fully enjoy the beauty of nature it may be a moment in past he could do so he wants to return but he is sure he cannot he wonders whether all the beautiful things are given to those who cannot come close enough to appreciate them fully the voyage in this poem is once past and it really takes place in the mind a passing glimpse to ridgely torres on the last looking into his hesperides has spread days i often see flowers from a passing car that are gone before i can tell what they are i want to get out of the train and go back to see what they were beside the track i name all the flowers i am sure they weren't not far weed loving where woods have burned not blue bells gracing a tunnel mouth not leopine living on sand and drows was something brushed across my mind that no one on earth will ever find heaven gives its glimpses only to those not in position to look too close now come to the exercises a questions Where was the poet when he saw the flowers? Answer: He was in the compartment of a train. Two. Does the poet see these flowers carefully? How can we tell? Answer: No, because he says that are gone before I can tell what they are. Three. Why does the poet start? three lines of the poem with the word not answer to emphasize that through the passing flowers may have appeared to be these the poet is not really sure four why do you think the poet mentions where woods have burned answer to draw attention to the destruction of nature by man's hand and to remind us that nature can still rejuvenate itself some flowers grow best and burned areas five is the poet referring uh, to the flowers when he says something brushed across my mind give reasons for your answer answer no he means memories ideas impressions thoughts six do you agree with the poet's observations about our fast paced modern lives and our relationship with the nature give reasons for your answer answer yes i agree with the poet that because of machines and modern inventions we are moving away from nature nature can give us a lot of happiness and peace but we stay away from it because we are busy with machines all the time b reference to context 
Read these lines from the poem and then answer the questions. 1. I want to get out of the train and go back. A. What has the poet glimpsed from the train? Answer. Some flowers that he couldn't recognize at a fleeting glimpse. B. Why does he want to go back? Answer. To see for himself what they were. C. If he does not go back, what might he be left with? Answer. Impressions and fancies, but not certainties. 2. Heaven gives its glimpses only to those not in position to look too close. A. What glimpses might these be? Answer. Of paradise, of beautiful things and happiness. B. Where were these glimpses seen? Answer. From a moving train across the passing landscape. C. Is the poet telling us about something more than just flowers? What do you think? Answer. He is also talking about human relationships, friendships and momentary joys and players. Page number 168. 2. Think of rhyming words for the following. A. Heaven. 7. B. Earth. Birth, C. Glimpses, Jinxes, D. Tunnel, Funnel, E. Flower, Trower, F. Beside, Recite, D. Words and Meaning. Use words from the poem to complete these sentences. 1. As the dog passed by, its tail brushed my ankle. 2. From the aeroplane, we caught glimpses of the mountains through the clouds. 3. The chief minister's wife is gracing the ocean. 4. The children were in heaven when they saw the room full of toys. 5. He was not in a position to help us with the application. 6. He sat beside his grandmother and told her a story. 7. She put her arms round her daughter in a loving embrace. Thanks for listening. For new videos, don't forget to subscribe my channel. And if you like my videos, please share and like.